What up? This is your boy Doughboy, and this is the first installment of Sober Saturdays. What is Sober Saturdays, you ask? Sober Saturday is once again my plunge into sobriety. If you know my background and my history with uh, sobriety and alcoholism, then that's one thing. But if you don't know, I'm going to give a quick rundown of what it kind of was, the backstory of it, kind of why I've kind of not been talking about it lately and why I'm talking about it now, if that all makes sense to you. Um, so basically in a nutshell, never really drank, um, in my younger life. I never had a problem with alcohol. It wasn't a thing. Um, but, um, once I moved to LA when I was 30, I started like, you know, drinking maybe a little bit more than most people. I don't think I was an alcoholic. Uh, the first five years that I started drinking, I just kind of was drinking just out of just, you know, you know, just, I don't want to say depression, but just boredom. You know, I was new to LA. I wasn't always out on the scene like that. So whatever. But when it kind of kicked into high gear is when I got weight loss surgery in 2015 and I had what doctors classify as a transfer of addiction. So now since I wasn't able to eat food, like I was addicted to my whole life, all of a sudden I was addicted to alcohol. So that kind of started like a nasty, uh, fight with uh, alcohol which resulted in two rehab stays for with me uh one was for 15 days and then it got raided by the fbi crazy stuff went on and then the second time i went in 2017 november 22nd i ended up completing a 30-day program and ended up uh staying sober for 90 939 days subsequently total uh after that um and then 2020 hit when 2020 hit you know what i'm saying i kind of had a lot happen to me personally on the on a personal uh, level that, you know, I don't have to, you know, necessarily delve into, but just a lot of stuff going on during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? I kind of wasn't feeling like myself. Just a lot of stuff had happened. So long story short, I ended up losing my sobriety back then in uh, 2020. I think it was like June 19th of 2020. I lost 939 days of sobriety. And that was something that I was proud of. I was pretty open publicly about my, my bout with alcohol around then. And so then I kind of ended up drinking for the rest of the year. It's kind of being depressed or whatever. And then I got sober in 2021. I went all of 2021 sober. I had a podcast with my homegirl, Shantae Wayans, called Minutes to Sobriety, where we discussed, you know, saying being sober and everything like that. And uh, we ended up ending that uh, toward the end of the year. Nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? I was just kind of going through some personal things. And, you know, we just stopped doing the podcast. Um, 2022 kind of got back into it. You know what I'm saying? And from 2022 till now, it's kind of been up and down thing um recently i kind of had a moment of clarity i kind of felt like I, I heard the holy spirit in in my room one night and it was just like hey man it's time to give this up man we done with this and i was just kind of like okay so on my birthday i uh made that rededication to to being sober and uh that was about nine days ago why do i say all of this why am i making this video why are you watching this content because um I had made a decision, you know, back in 2020 and back in 2021 that I wasn't going to talk publicly anymore about sobriety because I felt like, you know, I had fallen off too many times. I didn't want to be a bad role model to people, different things like that. But if anything, the last couple of years have taught me is that, you know, what I'm saying sometimes we get tested to have a testimony. I feel like I've gone through some 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 crazy times and um, I know that I'm going to beat this. So I'm just like, why not document that journey? Why not normalize sobriety? Why not? You know, there's a lot of people that suffer from this. You know what I mean? So why not talk about it? Like, I don't have to use my platform just for entertainment purposes and being funny i mean don't don't get me wrong we're definitely getting back to that i got new podcasts coming new sketches coming parodies coming fitness videos coming so but this is something that's important to me as well i'm dedicating my life um ever since august 21st uh, my birthday to to being sober um and i'm just you know i'm dedicated i'm hitting meetings these days i'm you know what I'm saying? Truly dedicated. And I know that there's a community of people out there that suffer from the same affliction. So I want to just be able to open up the conversation and say, hey, we can all do this together and just use my platform as a beacon of light and darkness. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's like. Like, I, I, I know what it's like to struggle with this thing. And I, you know, I'm saying I want to televise the revolution or the evolution 
if you will. So that's really what this content is going to be about. Um, you know, I have different guests that, you know, are living a sober life, you know what I'm saying? See what type of insight they may have. And, you know what I'm saying? Different conversations that can be had about being sober. It's just something that, uh, that's important to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something that I want to give back, you know what I'm saying? To, to my audience and to the audience that's growing. It's really a part of me. It's, it's a true, a true part of me. It's not me kind of getting in front of this camera and trying to judge anybody or act holier than thou. It's just me being transparent enough to be like, Hey, this is what I'm going through. Why don't we, you know, try to get through this together. So if you like that type of content, and enjoy that type of content, please like the video, share the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you think that there's a, uh, any different guests that you'd like to see me have on the platform. I'm sitting here live in the donut room at, uh, studio 26, uh, productions. So, um, uh, that's by my own production company and we have a, a podcast studio here. So if you're looking to, uh, rent out some podcast space to, I mean, to shoot your podcast some studio time to shoot out your podcast, holla at us. Uh, we got your back for all your needs, but, uh, but yeah, that's all I want to do. Just kind of give a, a brief synopsis of what it is, why I'm doing this and what you can expect from this content. So if that's something that you want to hear, please drop it in the comments. If you're somebody that suffers from alcoholism and you want to talk about it, let's open up the conversation. Let's not be uh, afraid to be vulnerable and uh, get through this together because uh, we can all get through it one day at a time. This has been your boy, Doughboy. I will check you guys on episode two. Peace. <music>